Hi guys, in this short tutorial I would like to show you how you can patch your Battle for Middle-Earth 1 game from the patch 1.05 to 1.06. It's in my case a Game Ranger version and if you want to go back to 1.05 I show it to you too, it's very easy. And the Revora team tries to make also a multi-language support which is missing in 1.05. And in my case, I show you how you to switch to the German version. First of all, you have to check what your actual patch status for Battle for Middle Earth 1 is. Therefore, you need to start the Battle for Middle Earth 1 program, and then you go to Options, and you see it's version 1.05. Okay, that's okay, that's all nice. We have to know where we can download the new patch. Therefore, I prefer to go to the Forshire Blogspot. Many of you know it, I think. Oh, okay, that's wrong. That's the right side. Um, many of you know it. He has made an, a great post where he described all the changes that are in and how you can install it. But this is a tutorial video, so I sh uh, show it in the practice way. And first of all, you have to download the patch 1.06. On the, on the bottom left, you see patch 1.06 bundle zoom.zip. I've downloaded it to my desktop. Then you open it. Then you open at first the patch bundle zip inside and here you see two big files patch 106 that's a real patch you only need this to play the new version and this patch 106 textures has the high definition patch uh, high definition pictures um, here you see the differences i think it looks great but okay um, you have to know where this big file has to be placed. It's very easy. If you have a shortcut for the Battle for Müllers on your desktop, press right mouse button on it, go to Eigenschaften or Properties, if it's English, then go to Dateifahrt öffnen, something like Path Opening or something like that in English, and the Battle for Müllers installation folder should pop up. Here you can see the patch zero patch 105.big it's actual patch 105 patch and there we have to place the other big files too the patch file and the high definition textures package, uh, pa package will be placed here you move it to here copy it and it's inside this is the patch that has been released besides that I would also install this WS Maps big file. If you open it, this zip file, you have the WS Maps big file. This file is for a better overview over the map. You can more zoom out than normal. You move this file to the Battle for Middle Earth folder too. Um, if you have the WS Maps file yet in your folder, and it's an older version. I really appreciate it to override it, override it with this new version because this new version just adds support for the new maps that come with 1.06. It also works with 1.05, but the new maps are also impl implemented here with a new file. So I've copied all the three big files to the Battle for Middle Earth folder and that's it. Our game is patched to 1.06. We can check it whether it's it's the right state. We start our game. We go to options and we see it's version 1.06 from the third age. Great, we're done. Okay, now you think, hmm, damned, 
my mates don't play 1.06 yet, they don't want to patch yet, I want to go back to play with them. No problem, you just select the 1.06 files, 1.06 big and 1.06 textures and move it to the desktops, uh, to the desktop. They are out of this folder, the WS maps can stay, as I said before. And then you start your game. Go to options and you see it's version 1.05. No problem, all is reverted back. Okay. Besides that, I wanted to show you how you can use the multi-language support. Therefore, you look to the Foshoi blogspot. Here is a link to the multi-language support topic. Here you see the actual translation state. English is by done by default, of course. Then French is done yet, German is done yet, and Spanish is done yet. Yeah, I download the German file. I save to the desktop. You see, it's also a big file. So you move it to the Battle for Middle Earth game folder. You see, it's a 1.06 German big. Then you start your game. And you see, here in my case, it's not German. So I hope this helps you guys. See you soon. If you have any questions, you can just ask me in Game Ranger or you can leave a comment at this video. Bye.